Morning everyone, uh, welcome to our service this morning. Today is Pentecost Sunday, the day where we celebrate the Lord, uh, the Holy Spirit uh, descending upon his disciples and releasing them into witness for Jesus Christ. And uh, over this last few weeks we've been looking at our series, looking at our family values, we've been looking at a pursuing life, how we push on and push out for Jesus where we've been looking at a Bible-focused life, where actually if we get into the word of the Lord, if we, we hold true to it, then actually we, we, we mine for its riches and we, we gain so much in our faith. We looked at a spirit-filled life, and we kind of started that a little bit early than Pentecost Sunday, but actually as we allow the Holy Spirit to, to fill us, then we, we, we grow in our faith and, and we too are empowered like the disciples were. We looked at a praying life last week and how actually prayer is one of those key things that we do. And we've been doing that over this week. Thank you so much for those who joined in with the Day of Prayer on Wednesday. And hopefully uh, those who have been doing that, you've really uh, grown in your prayer life. But also uh, hopefully you've been taking five for five people and praying through for people who don't know Jesus that they will come to know him. And maybe that's a habit to keep on doing as we move through, uh, go past Pentecost today and into the rest of our, our lives. Actually, to take five when we make a cup of tea or a coffee or something that we just pray for our friends. And then today we're going to be looking at a joyful life. And a joyful life is one thing I think actually really comes from knowing the filling of the Spirit because the filling of the Spirit reminds us of the love of God, reminds us of all that he's done, reminds us of who he is and what he means to us and actually a joyful life is something that should be a natural life for us as disciples and I know for many people we had uh, the mental well-being uh, health mental health week last week and actually saying well I've got to be joyful it's not about right drumming up joy it's about knowing the deep joy of being saved by Christ and Julie's going to be looking at that a little bit more of knowing how he how we can have this joyful life in him so hopefully you can enjoy the service and I do pray that as we go through today uh, on Pentecost Sunday you will know the filling of the Holy Spirit empowering you, uh, encouraging you, drawing you uh, closer to Jesus. So as we start let's pray right now. Come Holy Spirit, come fill our hearts, our homes right now. Lord, lead us, speak to us, heal us, use us for your kingdom in Knapp Hill and Brookwood. And we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. So feel free to stand as we sing a number of songs. Feel free to uh, just wait on him and maybe just uh, rather than just zipping through all the all the files on our YouTube channel maybe just pause after something and just take a moment to wait on the Lord and just say to him come Holy Spirit come meet me now and see what happens see how the Holy Spirit comes and meets in your heart 